Keychron Q3 out of the box. Hi folks, this is Bad Mark with MechTech, and today we're taking a look at the third entry in the Q series from Keychron, a TKL that is available with or without a knob. This Q3 is the barebone knob edition, available for $164. Now out of the box, we find a very substantial piece of foam that is protecting the top, almost 11 millimeters thick. Now below it, there's a smaller piece of open foam to make up for the difference in angle. We get a nice tutorial book that includes a lot of information, more so than we find in most boards nowadays, and also via out of the box. It also shows you some of the shortcuts available, already pre-programmed, as well as warranty on the board, and a tutorial where more can be found on their website. As is with all Keychron boards with the hot swap sockets, they include this red little card reminding the end user to ensure the pins on your switches are straight before inserting it to the hot swap sockets and preventing damage. We have some extra gaskets as well as some extra screws and some extra feet. Those gaskets will come in handy later on. Included is this nicely braided USB-C to USB-C cable with a matching color to the case. They do have an adapter for the USB-A and I think they missed the mark here by not matching the color, also including a tail because that adapter is going to get lost quickly enough. Below the keyboard we find a nice quick start guide showing you the differences that the Mac and the Windows hardware switch key will do, as well as those same shortcuts that we saw in the tutorial booklet. We have some tools included like an Allen wrench, a switch puller, a keycap puller, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now one thing that I must say about Keychron keyboards, especially these metal ones, is that they are very well machined. Despite all of my complaints, I must say this is one very substantially built keyboard. It has some very nice lines no blemishes, and even the aluminum plate that comes pre-installed is very nice to look at. Though I would like to see them include an extra plate in the keyboard as other manufacturers have started to do as a carbon fiber or an FR4 plate, even a polycarbonate plate would be good. Now I do think they are available uh, third party but don't quote me on that. Here is the Windows and Mac switch as well as the very flush USB-C connector. A lot of keyboard companies seem to want to put them in a pit, not Keychron. Now this keyboard is quite substantial coming in at 1735 grams, almost two kilograms. Now one thing you may have noticed while panning across this is the fact that Keychron may not know the difference between lubing and bathing because these stabilizers are completely drowning in dielectric grease. Now since this is an out of the box video we're going to be testing it just as is but trust me I will be opening up this keyboard and cleaning all that up. Now you can see that this keyboard does come with a five degree inclination which can be adjusted with the extra feet included. It has a very nice finish as I said before and it's one of the best I've seen especially in this price range when it comes to aluminum CNC keyboards. Now this keyboard as it's gasket mounted, uh, double gasket mounted as they call it, does have flex completely out of the box and for metal keyboards it has the better amount of flex even compared to the GMMK Pro without any modifications. Now for this out-of-the-box test, we decided to go with some JWIC Ultimate Blacks. They have been lubed using my time lube method. And while they do block a little bit of the RGB, they still allow a lot of it to shine through without really being affected by the charcoal PC top housing of the switch. 
Now for keys, I decided to go with the SA profile. This particular keycap set is called Fish. I'm not sure why, I guess because of the blue. But I'm very fond of the SA profile. For one, typing on them feels like each key, because of its scoop, is giving a hug to your fingertips on every keystroke. Not only that, it's very retro and reminiscent to me of the keyboards I first began typing on. So without further ado, I want to present to you the sound test of the Keychron Q3 knob version with JWIC Ultimate Black's SA Profile keys and stock out of the box. Enjoy. <laughs> 